Hi. Welcome to the Fishy Wild YouTube channel. Here you can enter the world of koi fish, which is full of color and beauty, a world that will make you never want to go back. Fishy Wild, let's start our adventure. When you mention koi to most people, the first image that usually comes to mind is a red and white koi, or a kohaku. Yes, the kohaku is the quintessential koi and one of the big three koi varieties that are kohaku, sankei, and showa. But, the most representative koi variety, out of 80 plus varieties, is the kohaku, that has a red pattern on a white body. It has combination of deep red patches, that form a pleasing pattern over a pure white body. You can see, a high-quality kohaku is truly stunning when fully grown. Kohaku koi have a long story. It start from 200 years ago, the koi with red color on the white skin already existed, but they were called sarasa at the time. This name was made after the Japanese traditional craft textile, sarasa, Sarasa is the traditional textile, that various colors are dyed on cotton cloth. After the Sarasa Koi appeared 200 years ago, the quality of Sarasa Koi, was gradually improved, and she caught many people's eyes, and won a favor. The name, Sarasa, had been remaining for a long time, after the exhibition. Then, after the war, when the country restored peace, Nishiki Goi got popular, more and more in Japan, Nobody knows why, but the name was spontaneously switched, from Sarasa to Kohaku. Now, Kohaku is one representative variety of koi fish, and they are loved by people from all over the world. Like dogs and cats, people take the bloodline of koi very serious, and the name of koi breeder, is an important factor as a designer named Bag. Yeah, koi fish somehow are the game of the rich. It has been said that koi keeping begins and ends with kohaku. In any variety that contains red patterns, it's evaluated on an examination of its kohaku pattern. Kohaku, of course, then Teisho Sanke and Showa are the most popular three varieties of koi, and are referred to as gosanki that judged as well as judged the kohaku. Did you know, one benefit of owning kohaku is that they don't have any special maintenance needs. The standard fish care which is used for koi will also suffice for kohaku. These fish tolerate cold weather well and as such can be kept outside all throughout the year. The popularity of koi both within and outside Japan has made it a species which appears in ponds all over the world. Those looking for high-end kohaku will have to acquire them through specialty breeders, and the price tag for these fish will be a hefty one. Yep, the top breeders will typically have a record of certifications involving the bloodline of the fish to verify their quality and lineage. But, how to judge Kohaku? When you see a Kohaku, you will see, it has a white body as the background if the red painting. The white background, in any koi variety, is called shiroji. While we call it the background, you should think of, white as a color, that is as important as other colors, such as red, or black, and not just an insignificant background. The shiroji, or the white background, should always be snow white. In addition to this shiroji, fukurin will bring the beauty of this koi, to an even higher level. Furkurin is the koi's skin, and it creates a beautiful metallic net pattern, around the scales, in some koi when they are mature. In kohaku, the he, or the red pattern, must end in the tail section, and that line between he, and shiroji, is the adome, or the empty space between the last red pattern and white background on the tail. 
The red pattern on the tail section is called the Adome He, and its appearance can drastically change the value of the koi. Don't be surprised, in the world of the koi fish hobby, we will often find words or terms in Japanese. Don't make it difficult, just enjoy it, over time you will get used to it. As koi breeds go, they are one of the simplest when speaking of colors and patterns, to the untrained eye. A good one however that is fully grown and mature, with good body conformation, can be extremely elegant yet powerful looking, even to the untrained eye. In Kohaku, the thicker the he, the better. However, an extreme red, does not mean the he is thicker, and is not preferable. The he of koi, will become thicker as it grows. The symbolic meaning of red is peace and the prosperity of the family. In kabuki theater performances, red stripes on the actors' faces means justice. The color blue, or ao, was a color of the common people. In old times, ordinary people were forbidden to wear bright clothes by the order of shogunates. So, red pattern, or he, is favorable by any Japanese. The coloration of the he depends on how much pigment keratin is absorbed from the koi food. Therefore, we must provide food that contains keratin to get beautiful and thicky color. It is also desirable to have the he moyo wrapped down below the lateral line of the koi, which we call maki. The head of a koi, is equivalent to the face of a human. He on its head is called tohi. Tohi, is very important because it expresses the character of the koi. Ideally the amount of tohi, should balance the adome he. Koi that have this balance appear beautiful, even to those who are uneducated about koi, although they do not know why. One of the earliest koi varieties to be bred, the kohaku, has always been the most popular variety of koi, with koi breeders and collectors in Japan, and around the world today. If you are ever lucky enough to attend a koi show in Japan, most of the fish entered in the competition would be kohaku. Although there are koi varieties with more colors, and more intricate patterns, the simplicity of the red and white pattern of the kohaku, continues to call to koi enthusiasts. Of all the koi fish varieties, the kohaku stands above them all, as king of the koi. This regal fish, was the first variety of koi fish to be developed with two colors, and its simple beauty, continues to inspire koi owners both new and experienced. The Kohaku Koi Fish, is a fan favorite at koi shows as well as, they often win the shows they are entered in. So what makes the Kohaku so incredible, it is all in their color and markings. One benefit of owning Kohaku, is that they don't have any special maintenance needs. The standard fish care which is used for koi, will also suffice for Kohaku. These fish tolerate cold weather well, and as such can be kept outside all throughout the year. The popularity of koi both within and outside Japan, has made it a species which appears in ponds all over the world. Those looking for high-end kohaku, will have to acquire them through specialty breeders, and the price tag for these fish will be a hefty one. The top breeders will typically have a record of certifications, involving the bloodline of the fish to verify their quality and lineage. The ideal kohaku, has a solid white body with red markings. 
The white should be clear and even, though many Kohaku have a yellowish nose which judges don't care for, but many owners find charming. The red markings can be one of two types. The first type is red with a purple tint, to it which usually appears thick, and rarely fades as the koi fish ages, but does not have the crisp edges that judges love. This type of red coloration is the most satisfying to new koi parents, because the color is easy to maintain with good water chemistry, and these kohaku will always look great, even if they are not show quality. The second type of red found in kohakus is the more popular orange red, which is much more difficult to develop and maintain, but is undeniably worth it, to those who have the patience to achieve this stunning coloration. Judges of Koi shows adore this orange-red color in Kohaku, because of the difficulty of keeping to color perfect, and because of the crisp lines that can develop between the white and red. Experienced Koi parents or breeders will derive the more pleasure and success from raising Koi with this stunning but difficult color of red than new Koi owners would. No matter what type of red your Kohaku sports the markings will look stunning on the Koi's white ground but some patterns of markings make a kohaku stand out. While the kohaku is certainly not the most complex or initially stunning koi fish, it does have a regal presence, which puts it head and fins above other koi varieties. The simplicity of the kohaku's balanced markings, along with the contrast of the red against white, make it the embodiment of peace and harmony, and that is what make the kohaku the kings of koi fish. When it comes to the markings on a kohaku, the more the merrier, because not only does a large amount of red look great in your pond, but judges love it too. While most kohaku have a red marking on their head, which is separate from the rest of their markings, some kohakus have patterns that extend onto their head. These are called bonjiri, and other kohaku have no markings on their heads. These are called bows. No matter what type of kohaku, you have the red markings should be fairly balanced, so that each side of the koi has about the same amount of red. This balance makes the kohaku feel peaceful and can add a sense of tranquility to your pond. Aren't kohakus amazing? Do you have any kohaku in your pond, or are you considering purchasing a one soon? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for this channel.